Hey, it's the Empire. Geo Boxing Empire. Back to boxing. Now, nah, man, man, I, I'm at a loss of words, man. I, I talked about a while back, and I said that this whole COVID-19 case and this whole virus about uh, this epidemic around the world will halt boxing events, even the biggest one, which is Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, man. Apparently, Bob Aaron was saying that this fight with uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, there will have to be a fight in between because uh, the comedy is not going to bounce back. And a major part, a major part of the ticket sales were the live buying live tickets, right? So that being said, man, this is a really big deal, man. I knew that most likely Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua most likely have a tune-up fight in between their uh, reignition to fight again. And this this is a really big deal, man, because who can Tyson Fury fight in his mean in the meantime? And who can Deontay Wilder fight in the meantime? This opens a lot of door wonderful opportunity for uh, these fighters to fight and to show what they got. Now, Tyson Fury is on top of the world, so I doubt he'll take anything dangerous. But Deontay Wilder, on the other hand, you know, he can really prove a lot in his comeback fight. And um, I think the biggest fight he can be he can make outside of Anthony Joshua, of course, and obviously he's going to rematch Tyson Fury, is Dillian White. Dillian White is the fight that I think he should take because this can definitely prove the doubt is wrong. You know, a lot of people are talking about how, uh, you know, Dillian White would stop Deontay Wilder even when he was undefeated. Now that he's taking a loss, you know, this would be a really big move for Deontay Wilder if he could get a fight with Dillian White. Um, uh, now, Marissa uh, Sullivan... The president of the ABC, the CEO, said something like, uh, Dillian White will not get uh, the WBC mandatory shot for like another year or something like that. Some, some ridiculous stuff. So Dillian White is not seeing that WBC title for a very, very long time now. So the next best thing is to fight Deontay Wilder. And this would be a really big deal for Deontay Wilder, man. Um, in my opinion, he needs to prove this. This will definitely boost his... Uh, uh, just his credibility back, you know, if he can pull it off. Um, in my opinion, if he really wants to get the full benefit of this fight, he needs to do it in the UK. He, he needs to have this fight in the UK. Um, and maybe have someone like a, um, well, you know, one, 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 of, the, one of the good uh, refs in America. God, I can't think of his name right now. But I'm, I'm thinking about one of the refs, Kenny Bayless. There we go. Get Kenny Bayless to referee it just so they don't stop that fight. Someone gets hit, you know, with a jab or something dumb. Because there's a lot of questionable stoppages in the UK. Um, most notably, most recently in the heavyweight division was uh, Anthony Joshua versus Carlos Takam. Carlos Takam was dodging punches and they stopped the fight out of nowhere. Crazy stuff. So we do, I don't want to see the same thing happen to Deontay Wilder in the UK. So get, get someone like Kenny Bayless so they don't get anxious or, or stopping the fight. And another, <laughs> another really bad uh, referee was, um, I don't know the guy's name, but it was Joseph Parker versus Anthony Joshua. Every time that got inside, the ref kept breaking the fight up. You know, the referee can really determine if a fight you know is lives up to expectations or not because if the referee doesn't know what he's doing he could definitely destroy the merit and legitimacy of that win you know but um yeah man Deontay Wilder should go to the UK man it would be a really big deal it would be a um it would be a homecoming you know take territory from Tyson Fury where he can't fight if you guys didn't know Tyson Fury can't fight in the UK so uh Deontay Wilder you know even if it's not dealing in white he could fight someone like a Huey Fury, knock his cousin out. <laughs> you know, that's what he needs to do right now. You know, in my opinion, I think that's, I might make a whole other video about that, how um, Deontay Wilder just needs to go in the UK and take, take the country back where Tyson Fury is from. He can't fight there anymore for legal reasons. You know, he can't fight there because he gave up his, uh, vada, uh, his uh, UCOD license because of the drug testing that happened in 2015. So, that being said, he can't fight in the UK. Deontay Wilder can't fight in the UK. So Deontay Wilder should make a boss move right now. And um, he should fight in the UK uh, in between this Tyson Fury fight. And he should fight a notable uh, UK UK uh, fighter. He could be anybody. He could be even David Price. I mean, people from the UK, they really go, go out all out in their fighter. And it could be to the detriment. Because so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he lost to Tyson Fury and everything, but do you really think he's going to lose to, like, a David Price or something like that? Or like a David Allen? I don't think so, but, you know, that would be a big fight nevertheless. Deontay Wilder going over there, especially after the loss, there would be a lot of doubts about Deontay Wilder's chin and Deontay Wilder's, you know, ability to bounce back. 
So Deontay Wilder could literally, he don't even need to take on Dillian White. He can just take on any big name opponent in the UK. He can fight Derek Chisora. You know what I mean? He can just fight Tony Bellew if he ever wants to fight. But, you know, Tony Bellew is scared of Deontay Wilder. He, he said multiple times that Deontay Wilder would knock him out. So that's not going to happen. But, you know, Deontay Wilder going to the UK would be a really big deal. But I'm really excited to see what uh, Tyson Fury is going to do. I know ESPN is paying him a lot of money for a uh, fight fight deal. I'm not too sure if they got some kind of stipulation in the contract or maybe they might make Tyson Fury sign something else because they're paying Tyson Fury so much money for each fight. You know, they're going to have to make him fight a big name. He can't fight no bum anymore. You know, enough with the bums, you know. Um, they're paying him too much money to fight a bum. They're going to have to make a sell and big, cause especially because it's going to be in America. So it's going to have to be a big name, notable name in America. Maybe he, maybe he might get the Adam Kanaki fight. Maybe Raul Hedinius. We don't know. We don't know. But it definitely will be a big name. ESPN is paying a lot of money. And um, right now, they need to make that back more than ever. And maybe before they had a, um, a vault of money they could save up and everything was all good. But now with the economy uh, going south worldwide, Tyson Fury can't take no soft touches anymore. And you're going to have to make that money back for the company. So he's most likely going to be fighting a tough opposition. He, they, could, they could go soft, but I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Bob Ram said they're going to have to get tune-up fights. And, um, yeah, man, because the economy is in recession right now. People are not traveling. People are still, they, a lot of states still have uh, restrictions on travel bans. Crazy stuff, man. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.